Today we're going to migrate a WordPress website from one server host to another running cPanel. In this instance, we're not changing the domain name. We're just simply moving to another host. The first thing we need to do is sign into cPanel on the existing host and download a backup of both the home directory and the SQL database using the backup wizard. We could also grab emails, but it's a better idea to use Outlook to export their PST files. In this instance, there are no emails to back up. Log in to cPanel on your new host, go to MySQL Databases. Create new database and type a name. For this demonstration, we just used WordPress. Scroll down to add new user. Give the user a name and set a password. You can use the generator to create a complex password. Just be sure to copy it somewhere as we'll need it later. Click create user. Scroll down to add user to database. Give the user a name and ensure you are adding it to the database that we've just created. Click add. On the manage user privileges page, tick the all privileges box. Click make changes. Again, remember the username and password that you've set. Go back to the cPanel menu and open PHP My Admin. Select the database we just created and select the import tab. Choose the database file we backed up earlier. You may have to unzip this file. Untick the box under Partial Import. Click Go. This will take some time depending on the size of your database. On the cPanel menu, select File Browser. Navigate to the public HTML di directory. This is where we'll upload the files. Click Upload and choose the home directory backup file that we made earlier. Once it is finished uploading, go back to the File Explorer page. Right click on the zip archive and select Extract. We have now restored the site files. While in the file explorer, find the wp-config.php file and right click on it, select edit. Find and update the following lines with the database name, username and password that we created earlier. If you follow along, they will be formatted similarly to what you can see on screen now. Once you have made the edits, click save. Be sure to update the name servers on your domain name to point to the new host. If you're keeping the same domain name, simply wait 24 hours and your site is ready to go. If you're changing your domain name, you'll have to perform a search and replace on all the site links to reflect this change. That's it. As always, let us know if this guide has helped you. If there's something you would like us to cover, please leave a comment.